claims were made here earlier from people who are far distant now, that we, the, people like us who are looking for a debate on the issue of migration weren't in the chamber. We all have committees. A lot of committees sitting today, and I was listening to my office to some of the diatribe that was said, and I'd point out that when we had our motion here, we hadn't a quorum for the whole motion. Minister for Justice, you said last week in Turles, and I quote, the Minister of Justice says she has to push back very strongly against claims by the women of Ross Cray that they did not feel safe in their own town. As she said, local protesters are being uh, manipulated by outside forces wanting to stoke up trouble. That is an utter lie by you. Utter diatribe. I mean, these are good people who have contacted me in their numbers to say that they're offended and disgusted, and you carry on with this kind of diatribe. You won't meet them. But I'm quoting from her statement. I'm quoting from her statement. I have it on, I just have my phone here. I'm quoting from a statement, don't waste my time, but I'm quoting from the statement. I wouldn't count call otherwise. It's a statement. So this is the problem with the government here, with the heads in the sand. A problem that you failed to deal with. And it already sticks in my craw to hear deputies from Sinn Féin, who were good at the petrol bombs and their, and their groups and their, and their rewards when they had, and burning down places. Nobody wants a place burned down. I, can't, I condemn at the bottom of my heart anybody who burns a building. A burned building is no use to anyone. But the labelling of good people when there's a place burned. There was a place burned in Feather, a ship that burned no school. It wasn't even, there wasn't even a rumour that was going to be used. And you, you created away the media, jumped in this. The Gardaí have said they had no uh, information whatsoever. There was no rumours, nothing else. It could have been ordinary people doing something they shouldn't be doing in that building, like it happens. And it could be an accident, it could be anything else. There was no refugees going into it. There was no mention or rumour of it. So I want to be that quite clear. If you think you can peddle this narrative that all the people, crappies lie down, we know everything. You have failed utterly to house uh, 14,000 people. Now we're getting people telling us there's 1,000 IPAS applicants. It's horrific if they are on the streets of Dublin. And we also had a lady who died in Dublin during the week, a young woman, buried in Ross Grey during the week, from Ross Grey, who died homeless in the streets in Dublin. And all these problems are being compounded, and you want to flood the people, and the, minute, the teacher tells me that 14,000 people that came in with no paperwork were all trafficked in. Get your heads out of the sand and let the people out there be fair and respectful to your electors. Remember, you have to face these people. You have failed to deal with the housing crisis. You have failed to deal with the health crisis. You have failed to deal with many other uh, crises. And that's the situation, what you're doing, and that's how... You're 20 seconds over. Yeah, I'm not. Sorry, I'm not. I dream it. Sorry. I'm sorry, you say dream. Um, um, sorry, I'm, I'm being distracted now. Look, um, you failed miserably, and you're failing miserably with this. Put the people in. Support the Gardaí. We're going to have 4,000 or 5,000 exits from the Gardaí in the next couple of years, and you can't recruit people in. So you're the woman that needs to wake up, Minister, I respectfully suggest. And don't be demonising the good, decent women, grandparents, and children in Ross Grey, and try to put them down like that. It's insulting. It's gross. It's, it's, it's crass. It's, it's beneath you, but we don't expect anything better from this government, only to piddle down on the Irish people.